I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Marion, Ohio, where we hear ex-police chief Brian Tuttle once again on the warpath. Oh, he just doesn't know when to shut his big mouth, does he? Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Allow me to introduce to you the so-called ex-police chief Brian Tuttle and his beautiful wifey. Yeah, you ever hear that song, if you want to be happy for the rest of your life, make an ugly woman your wife? He did an outstanding job, Sonny Boy, I'm going to tell you that right now. Well, anyway, he was on the warpath against Dr. Dave for the longest time. And now he's on the warpath against Chris Ryder. Yeah, for Public Safety Channel. Well, let's listen to him as he keeps putting his foot in his big mouth. Roll that clip. Everybody, Chief Total of the Country Cop 3 here. Had to make this video. I'm back. I took a well-deserved vacation from YouTube, and boy, I feel a lot better. Tell you what, I had to uh, make a little bit of a acknowledgement on this. I was uh, monitoring my comment section uh, while I was on vacation from YouTube, and this one asshole, Chris Ryder, for at public safety or something like that, he thinks he wants to come over here and throw down with Chief Tuttle. Well, Chris, I thought about it a long time, and I talked about it with my wife. I live in Marion, Ohio, dude. I am very upfront about where I live. I've never lied about where I live. Marion, Ohio. It's to the east if you don't know where. Come over here, Marion, Ohio. I will knock your dick into the dirt. I will meet you anywhere in the town. That's fact. You're going to get a surprise, buddy. If you think you're going to come and smack me around, buddy, I'll hit you so, so fast from so many different angles, you're going to think you're surrounded. And bring Tiffaho with you, man. My wife like to knock her ass around. We could have a whole big party, you know? Now, for those of you who may not know, this is Chris on the right and his girlfriend or fiance, I don't know, Tiffany. Yeah, and I don't know why the two of them are getting into it, but I love it. Oh, I really do. He gave up on Dr. Dave because Dr. Dave will beat him down, not physically, but just mentally. He said he needed AA. Let's do it. You want to throw down with Chief Tuttle? You think I'm weak? You think I'm small? Buddy, I'm 6'4", 260, and I know I can kick your ass. I'll put you right in the ER or the ICU. I will beat you until you stop moving. So there you go. Throw down accepted, Chris. Marion, Ohio. Get that through your stupid-ass genetic misfit brain. Marion, Ohio. Let me know when you're coming. Because I'll meet you, and I'll videotape me kicking the living shit. I'll have like three or four cameras. I'll have like friends surrounding you with cameras, and they're going to videotape me just destroying your ass. I'm not afraid to fight. My dad was a Marine in World War II. He dealt with Japs. Okay, so your dad was a Marine. He was a real tough guy. What was he, in Okinawa? Yeah, well, what's that got to do with you? By the way, he wants to claim he got his front teeth knocked out in a fight. Those teeth aren't knocked out. They're rotted out. Look at them. Man, hey, go see a dentist. Thought you were a chief of police. Didn't you have dental insurance, boy? He taught me everything he knows, man. I will. I will hurt you so there you go Marion Ohio Chris come on over let me know you're coming I'll accommodate you I will beat you until you go away so there we go having said that let's see what Chris does with that 
as much as we'd all love to watch something like that, I don't condone violence. I can't sanction this. No, nah, it would be stupid on both parties. Yeah, and I think Chris is smarter than that. Hey, well, let's remind everybody what this yahoo said about Dr. Dave. Let's roll that clip. But it's Cheap Tuttle the Country Cop 3 here. Had to make this video. I'll tell you what, everybody knows that me and Dr. Dave have been into it for the last couple days, maybe going on a week now. Kind of trading jibes at each other, and, uh, you know, I was thinking about it long and hard. You know, there are two options available to me. One, I can go up there and hurt him. I mean really hurt him. Like, ER visit hurt him. Or I could let it go and just walk away. This guy's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. He's definitely a few fries short of a Happy Meal, not to mention a few cans short of a six-pack. Oh, that's right, he doesn't drink anymore. He'll tell us that in just a minute. But how smart is it to get online and publicly threaten somebody? Not too smart at all, Chief. Oh, I mean ex-Chief, or whatever the hell you were. Now, Dr. Dave is the kind of man, he can't fight himself. He's too small and weak, he's a weakling. All he does is type on the computer and somehow he gets some kind of bravado going. Well, anyway, a lot of people know, my subs and my fans, they know, and I've been upfront about this, I'm big into AA. And uh, I was at an AA meeting tonight with a couple of really good friends, and they noticed that I was pissed off, and they, you know... When drunks are hanging around with drunks and they know one's pissed off, it goes off like a red flag. So I had a lot of people come up to me, hey, are you all right? What's going on? And I opened up to them about Dr. Dave and I showed them some of the videos that he's been making. And they Yeah, Sonny Boy, it sounds like you have real anger management issues. Is that why you're not on the force anymore? Did you get fired? We're going to have to look into your record. Or were you drunk on the job? That might be it. He was drunk on the job and got fired. Yeah. And as for fighting, I'm way too old to fight. I tell you what, though, sweetheart. I pray every day that I don't have to hurt a jack wagon like you. They were laughing. They were really laughing at the guy. And my sponsor and all my buddies, my AA brothers and sisters, they said, dude, this wasn't even worth your time. You know, don't let it get under your skin. Don't drink over it. It's not worth it. Dr. Dave is an insignificant little cog in the wheel and the machine of life. And they were absolutely right. And usually my AA brothers and sisters are. And uh, whenever they, you know, tell you something like that, you listen. You listen to your peers, especially in AA. Everybody knows AA is an international brotherhood. There's a lot of us out here. Yeah, Alcoholics Anonymous is for weak-minded people like you, Chief Tuttle, ex-Chief Tuttle, whatever. Yeah, weak-minded people who can't stop drinking on their own. That's what it's for. You gotta lean on somebody else to solve your problems. And by the way, I didn't start this. You did. Let's roll that clip just to remind everybody, because I never heard of you before this clip. Let's listen carefully, shall we? I got into it with Dr. Dave. Dr. Dave was a hippie that jumped the Canada border to avoid going to Vietnam. Him too. People call me a white supremacist. They call me a racist. Fine. I'm good with that. This bloody idiot made this video about two months ago. I didn't know anything about it until somebody brought it to my attention. So you're the one that started all this nonsense. i tell you one thing about Dr. Dave. You start something, he'll finish it. No worries. So, they said, look, this isn't worth your sobriety. It's not worth your anger. You know, it's just, it's trivial. It's absolutely trivial. Who cares what a old fart from Willoughby, Ohio thinks about you? It doesn't matter. In the big scheme of things, my sobriety is the most important thing other than my family. And the reason I still have my family is because I got sober. I lost my family a couple times over drinking. I'm not doing it again. When you say family, are you referring to Magilla Gorilla, a.k.a. your wifey? Yeah, I heard she left you. She's stupid. She came back to you. 
she must be really desperate for a man. Of course, I guess there's somebody for everybody in the world, isn't there, sweetheart? Dr. Dave is not worth it. Like I said, he's an insignificant little bug. And, uh, you know, his computer screen's all he got. That's a pathetic little life right there. And um, I'm not taking the bait anymore. So the channel's going to go on. We're going to so be making I think those videos. are more important stories that I need to bring to my fans and my subs. And um, if you're new here and uh, you want to keep the drama going or you like somehow by the entertainment the drama brings, you're going to be sorry because it's going to end. It's going to end now. I'm not going to... I'm not going to compromise my sobriety, my life, my family, or anything for an insignificant little turd who lives in Willoughby, Ohio. Well, don't you worry, sweetheart. I'm going to continue to push your buttons. Matter of fact, you're going to be my new poster boy, like Goat Boy. I'll push you right over the edge. By the way, your fans and your subscribers, you mean those 493 suckers that applied to your channel and watched it? Got 23,000 views in the last 30 days. Wow, it's a geyser. I get that in a few hours, boy. And I was really considering going up there and hurting him. And I know I could. Dr. Dave couldn't beat me in a fight ever. I could kick his ass up and down the street every day of the week and twice on Sunday. And there, you know what? There wouldn't be a damn thing he could do about it. Not one damn thing. I'd, th I'd throw him around like a rag doll. I would fold him like lawn furniture, but it's not worth my sobriety. So, if you're new here, welcome. If you want the drama con to continue, get off the channel because it ain't going to continue. It's not worth it. I just can't imagine this guy being a police officer, let alone a chief of police. you got to be kidding me. This guy is way past being a loose cannon. I tell you what, though, sweetheart, you should just go ahead and stay there and marry in Ohio. And don't come up here, man, because I pray every day. Like I said, you know, uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So, I've been going to a lot of AA meetings lately because this has been really kind of a bug in my craw. And they're like, dude, he's he's nothing. They watch the videos. They watch the videos he made of me. And I wouldn't watch the videos I made of him. And they're like, Brian, this ain't worth it. This ain't worth it, man. Just let it go. You know, what people think of you doesn't matter. My AA brothers and sisters know I was a police officer. And they know I was a damn good one because I talk about it openly in the meetings. You know, there's a lot of alcoholism in law enforcement. That seems to be a sad part of the job. I had a lot of friends that we were on duty together, and we all drank heavily. Well, there you have it, folks. I pushed his buttons, and he can't deal with it. It's okay for him to push my buttons. Yeah, but I can't push his. I remember, boys, I walked through the valley in the shadow of death. I fear no evil. For my rod and my staff give me great comfort. You figure out what I'm talking about, sweetheart. But in the meantime, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, like this yahoo on the screen, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by there, Chief Tuttle. Yeah, you need some anger management classes, sweetheart. You keep going to that AA. Hey, what do you guys do after the AA meeting? You guys don't go to the bar, do you? Oh, I bet you do. Cheer to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. 
you're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? No, no reason. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm going to arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the law. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform. I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.